Welcome to SNY.TV Flashback. I'm Matt Cerrone. A lot has changed since the spring of 2012 when Zach Wheeler was just in minor league camp for the Mets and was hyped as being one of the big four pitching prospects, along with Matt Harvey, Henry Mejia, and Yuri's Familia. Like I said, a lot has changed. Today we're taking you back to February 2012 when Wheeler caught up with Toby Hyde of MetsMinorLeagueBlog.com. Hi, everybody. I'm Toby Hyde of MetsMinorLeagueBlog.com, and joining me today is uh, Zach Wheeler, one of the Mets' top pitching prospects. And, Zach, I want to talk about that ranking among the Mets', Mets top pitching prospects. So often at fans, you're lumped into a group with Matt Harvey, hey, you're familiar, and even Henry Mejia as the big four. Do you think of yourself as part of the big four? Um, I mean, if you want to consider it that, the big four, yeah. I mean, just whatever. Uh, you know, we all try to do our part in the organization and uh, just go out there and just pitch. And uh, people can think what they want about it. I mean, we're just doing our jobs, so. But it, does, it doesn't, you don't have that same concept in your head about, hey, there are those guys who are at an, at an upper level, a couple of, all three of those guys are in big league camp. Does it seem weird that fans would have that construct, that the big four with those three in big league camp and you in minor league camp? Um, no, I mean, they have a plan for us here. So, um, you know, I can only do the things that I can do. And that's go out here and perform and uh, hopefully get my chance sometime soon. So, Real early in minor league camp, uh, first full day of step camp. But how are you feeling? Uh, feeling good. Um, the arm feels good. You know, I've done two bullpen since I've been here, and uh, they both feel pretty good. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to keep developing my off speed and all that and get my look, uh, control down. So, you know, it's still early. So, you know, you're trying to do all that early and get it out of the way. Now, I wouldn't expect you to be in midseason form, but last August when we talked after the trade, you cited going back to sort of your high school motion as being real key to getting your con making your control better as a, as a man. And, and you said there was better tempo, there was a little more twisting going on. Are you st staying with that now as we start 2012? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, this is what I feel comfortable with and that I've always done when, I've, you know, when I was growing up. And uh, that's just what's comfortable to me, and it helps out my control. And... Uh, you know, when I came over in the trade and I started doing that, my walks were down tremendously. I think six in like 35 innings or something like that. And, you know, I like that. So, Yeah, that, that, that would help you uh, pitch, <laughs> yeah. pitch better. Is that sustainable moving forward? Yeah, I think so. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see, you know. <laughs> but I, th I think it will. Um, you know, it will help me go further in the games with my pitch count a little bit lower and not walking on these guys and stuff like that. So so now what is your focus here spring 2012? Um. Like I said earlier, just developing my off-speed pitches and uh, just trying to learn some things from my pitching coaches. You know, we got a lot of experience within and, uh, you know, just trying to develop my off-speed and uh, gain control of, of all of my off-speed. Now, when I saw you last year, we saw we saw curveball, we saw slider, we saw change up. That was pretty firm. Yeah. Uh, within within that development for all, for all those pitches, do you have one that you're specifically trying to work on the most or, or do, where... where what do you, let's, let's, I know you're, you've got you've got to have something you're working on with each of those. Yeah. Let's start with the curveball. I know that's that's the, the sort of the longest tenure to the breaking balls. Yeah. Um, um, where does that start? I mean, the curveball. You know, um, growing up, I've always had trouble getting my fingers in front of the ball, so it has that sharp breakdown. And uh, you know, I'm just trying to pound that into my head. And I did a good job of that last year, and hopefully it'll continue. And then the uh, slider. Um, like I said, I've always had trouble just getting it through my head to get my fingers you know, move my fingers on the ball instead of just trying to throw it and, you know, maybe just it, like looping up there. So now I'm starting to, you know, get that in my head and probably maturing a little bit and, you know, stuff like that. And then my changeup, that's probably where I'm working on the hardest. I worked on that all off season, And uh, our new pitching coordinator, he's pounding that change up in our heads. And uh, we're throwing it every day during warm-ups, you know, just th throwing in the outfield and during our bullpens. So hopefully, I, you know, develop a lot better when you or a pitcher says they work on a pitch in the off season what does that mean um you just try to i don't i mean there's a lot of different ways you can go about it you just throw it you know a good bit more and you try to concentrate on that during your bullpens you know getting your fingers right on the ball releasing it right there's just a lot of things that go into it what kind of what kind of change up are you working with it is a circle change or a vulcan or any any strange grip yeah i just go with the circle change and uh you know, you got to get your fingers out front of the ball so you can get that downward right angle on it. Do you trust it to, to throw it with fastball-type arm speed? That's the big thing with, with change-ups, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, some people say I slow my arm down a little bit, but, um, 
you know, that's what I've been trying to work on this offseason, too, is just making it fluent and just getting it out there, just trying to do the same thing as my fastball. And that's uh, what uh, our pitching coordinator is stressing to us. you got to keep the same arm motion, le release it from the same spot. And, uh, you know, that will help out tremendously. What was the highlight of your non-baseball offseason? Ooh, to tell you the truth, I really didn't do anything. Uh, I don't know. That might almost be a reassuring answer to the Mets fans <laughs> that you're so focused on baseball. Yeah, I mean, that's all I do is just work out and, uh, you know, just just relax. Just try to enjoy my offseason a little bit. Play a few video games. Yeah. <laughs>